Hello everyone, this tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this wonderful amigurumi bear. This is quite a larger size amigurumi. It measures about 8 inches long and about 6 inches wide using a size 3 lightweighted yarn. This bear is very cute. As you can see, we've got two little arms, legs, we've got a cute tail. We have the scarf, two eyes, the muzzle, and these little ears. So this bear has a smaller body and a larger sized head and it just adds to the adorableness of this wonderful amigurumi and it's very very easy to make so in this full tutorial i'll be showing you how to crochet this piece from start to finish and it's a great beginner's project too this is the back and this is what it looks like all the way around with the adorableness of this bear you can give it to any child or even a young adult to display in their dorm room or their bedroom or even their new apartment it has a very neat and tidy appearance in this full tutorial, we make each of the parts separately and we attach it all together. We have the head, the ears, the body, the arms, legs, the tail, and the scarf all made separately and we attach them all as we go. And again, in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll show you how to do all of that. The materials I used for this project is Peyton's Grace in white. Peyton's Grace is a size 3 light yarn. It's 100% mercerized cotton and it comes at 136 yards per ball. The recommended hook size on the back is three and a half millimeter size crochet hook however because we are doing amigurumi i always do a crochet hook less one size just so that the holes aren't as large so they're as minimized as possible therefore i use a size 2.75 millimeter crochet hook for this size three yarn i also use paint grace in black for the eyes and the nose and i used this blue for the scarf. This blue is a blue that I just had lying around. It is from Wish. It is not Payne's Grace and you can use any color you want for the scarf. You're also going to be needing a tapestry needle to sew your pieces together. The amount of yarn I used to create this bear is I used one and a half balls of Payne's Grace in white, a little bit of black, and a little bit of blue. For this project you need to know basic crochet. That's about it. Everything else I want to show you how to do. So without further ado, let's get started. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe for more tutorials. So let's begin with the head. To begin, we are going to start off with our white and we are going to do a magic circle. To do a magic circle, take your two fingers, wrap the yarn once, twice around it. Take your hook, go underneath the first, pull the second one through. Take your fingers out, hold everything there, and then do a chain one. Chain one, and that's going to complete your magic circle. Now we're going to do six single crochet into this magic circle. So into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull your tail tight. Okay, so let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are going to do into the first stitch here, we are going to do two single crochet into each of the six stitches to increase it to a total of 12. So that's going to be one increase in each stitch. So one, two, into the first, three, four, into the second, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. Okay, so that was the end of round two. So now we have twelve stitches all the way around. For round three, I'm going to start marking my rounds. To do that, I just like to use a piece of string. You can use a stitch marker if you like but I use my piece of string and I put it over the first stitch here. Okay, so the first stitch of the round, which is the one we're going to do our first stitch into, right there, and it's over that. Now we're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch to begin round three. So as you can see, the stitch marker is directly under the first stitch of the round. So here's our first single crochet, the first stitch of the round right there. Right, that's where our stitch marker lands. So that's how we know that the beginning of this round is with this stitch here. This is the first stitch of the round. Okay, so that's what we did. We did our first single crochet. Now into the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. So that's two single crochet into the same stitch. 
and then the next stitch, one single crochet, and then the following fourth one, two single crochet, one, and two, and that's gonna be the pattern all the way around. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet, increase, all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of my last stitch. My last stitch here, I'm gonna do two single crochet for my last increase, and that's gonna give me a total of 18 stitches all the way around. So if we count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and right here, 18. Okay, so now for the next round, round four. So for round four, we're going to take our marker, pull it over, and insert our hook into the first stitch, do one single crochet. And as we can see the same thing, the marker is over our first stitch right here. So that's how we know that this stitch is our first stitch of the round. So that's one single crochet. Now the next stitch, we're going to do one more single crochet. So that's one, two single crochet. And now into the third stitch, we're going to do an increase. Okay, so the next stitch, one single crochet, the next stitch, one single crochet, and the third stitch, an increase. And that's gonna be the pattern all the way around. Two single crochet followed by an increase. One, two, increase. I'll meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round four. You have 24 stitches all the way around. And now we're gonna take our marker and just bring it back over here. And into the first stitch, we're going to do our first single crochet. Into the second stitch, another single crochet, and into the third stitch, another single crochet. And into the fourth stitch, one increase, one and two. And that's gonna be the pattern all the way around. Three single crochet, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, an increase. I'll meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of round five. You should have 30 stitches all the way around. For round six to round 13, we're just gonna do the same pattern. We're gonna increase one single crochet each of the rounds, followed by an increase. So round five, we did three single crochet increase. Round six, we are going to do four single crochet increase, one, two, three, and four, single crochet, followed by an increase into the fifth stitch, like that. For round seven, five single crochet, followed by an increase into the sixth stitch. Round eight, six single crochet, followed by an increase. Round nine, seven single crochet, followed by an increase, etc. all the way to round 13. When you get to round 13, you will have to do 11 single crochet, followed by an increase into the 12th stitch, okay? So that's gonna be the patterns until round 13. So I'm gonna meet you at the end of round 13, and what that's going to do is create ourselves an even circle. I'll meet you at the end of round 13, where the pattern will be 11 single crochet, followed by an increase into the 12th stitch, and you will have a total of 78 stitches. Now here's just a tip, in case you lose track of which round that you are on, the best way to count it is to start in the center. So we have two sides, the wrong side, where the stitches go outward like this, and the right side, which is where the stitches go in a circle. So facing the right side facing you, you look at the right side and you count from the center. So the center has this little part here, where it starts here and it goes around. So you don't want to start counting on this side here, instead you want to start counting on the side where it begins. Okay, so here's where it begins. One. So each bump is around one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do not count this stitch at the top here. The V's at the top, do not count that. Count the bumps. So end at the bump here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how you know that you are currently on round six. Okay, so that this part here, round six is completed. So that's why I'm here and I'm continuing round six. If I count over here, it's gonna give me a different count. If I count here and not at the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, that means five rounds are finished and I still have six to go. So I did not finish round six yet. So I always like to count here at the beginning where this circle starts, one, two, three, four, five, six is completed. Okay, so if we undo it, and we look again, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, do not count the Vs. So one, two, three, four, five bumps. So that means five is completed and we're currently working on. So here's our loop, six. Okay, that's how you count. 
So here we are at the end of round 13. I have 78 stitches all the way around. This is what my piece looks like. Now we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Four rows 14 to 24. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 24. So the next 11 rows, one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Okay, so just one single crochet like this. So at the end, you're still going to have 78 stitches all the way around. And I'm going to meet you at the end of round 24 to begin round 25. So here we are at the end of round 24. This is what my piece will look like. Okay, now for round 25. For round 25, we are going to begin with one single crochet into the first stitch followed by one increase into the second stitch. One and two. Okay, And we're going to repeat that group. One single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase for a total of six times. So we did once. Now we're on the second time. So one single crochet and one increase. That's two. The next one, one single crochet, one increase. three, the next one, one single crochet, one increase, that's four, and the next one, one single crochet, one increase, that's five, and the last one, one single crochet, and one increase, and that's six. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So you'll have six groups. So one, two, three is one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to do 27 single crochets. So just one single crochet into each stitch for a total of 27 times. So one, two, three, four, five, and 27. Okay, so here I am. Here's the beginning, I've made my way roughly halfway around. So now we're going to repeat that one more time. We're going to start off with one single crochet, one increase, that grouping six times. So one single crochet, one increase. So that's one. The next one, one single crochet, one increase. Two, one single crochet, one increase. Three. That's six, and then we should have 27 stitches remaining. I'm going to do one single crochet into each of those 27 till the end. I'll meet you at the end. So one, two, and 27. So here I am at the end. This is what my piece looks like. Okay, you should have 90 stitches all the way around. Now for round 26. For round 26, it's going to be very, very similar to the previous round. The only difference, instead of doing one single crochet, one increase, you're doing two single crochet, one increase. Two single crochet, one increase. And you're still going to be doing 27 single crochet in between. Okay, so my first stitch right here, one single crochet. Into the next stitch, one single crochet. So one, two. And into the third stitch, an increase. And we're just going to repeat that a total of six times. So we did one grouping. The next grouping is one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and increase into the third stitch. One and two. So that's two groupings. We're going to do that three, four, five, six groupings. At the end of your six groups, you're going to do one stitch into the next 27 single crochet, just like before. So one, two, three. 27. Okay, now we have halfway more to go. We're going to repeat the same thing. Two single crochet increase, that grouping six times, followed by one single crochet in the next 27 stitches till the end. I'll meet you at the end here. So here we are at the end of round 26. This is what my piece looks like. You're going to have 102 stitches all the way around. Okay, 
now for round 27 and 28. So for round 27 28, we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch all the way around for the next two rounds. I'll meet you at the end of round 28. Here I am at the end of round 28. This is what my piece looks like. It kind of looks like a hat with two wings on the side. And I still have 102 stitches all the way around. So I did my last two rows of single crochet only. And now for round 29. Round 29 is going to be very similar to round 26 in the fact that we do two single crochet followed by a decrease. So instead of an increase, it's a decrease and everything else is the same. Okay, so I'll show you. So let's begin round 29. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and into the third and fourth, we're going to do a decrease. So take your hook, go underneath. So each stitch has two loops, the front loop, and the back loop, which is the one that's farthest away. Go into the front loop, the one that's closest to you from the bottom up. Go into the second stitch from the bottom up into the front loop as well. Three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's a decrease. So we did one, two, decrease into the next two stitches. So two stitches become one. So that's one group. We're going to do it again for a total of six times. So we did one. The next one, one single crochet one single crochet, decrease into the next two stitch, one, two, decrease. So we did two groups. Do that for a total of six groups, and then we're going to do one single crochet into the next 27 stitches, so just like normal, and that'll leave you to a half point. At this half point, we're going to repeat that one more time. So I'll meet you at the end of this first uh, half point. So do your total of six groups and 27 stitches. I'll meet you at the end of 27 stitches. And 27. Okay, so I've done my six groups of two single crochet decrease. And then I did 27 single crochet. Here I am, halfway point. Now we're just going to repeat that one more time. Six groups of two single crochet decrease, 27 single crochet, and that'll leave you to the end here. So at the end, you're going to have 90 stitches all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this round. And 27. Okay, so this is what my piece looks like at the end of this round. Now for round 30. For round 30, it's going to be very similar to round 25. The only difference is that instead of doing an increase, we do a decrease. So we do one single crochet into the first stitch, followed by a decrease. Like that. And that's going to create our first group. And again, we're going to do six groups followed by 27 single crochet, and we're going to repeat that two times. Okay, so the next stitch, one single crochet, followed by a decrease. That's two groups, okay? So keep doing your groups until you have a total of six, then do one single crochet in the next 27 stitches. That will lead you to the end here, to the middle. Then once you get to the end here, after your 27 single crochet, you're going to repeat this one more time. So you're going to have one single crochet, one decrease, that group six times, followed by 27 single crochet. I'll meet you at the end here where you're going to have 78 stitches all the way around. And 27. So here we are at the end of round 30. And this is what my piece looks like. You can see we have kind of like the shape of the head, these two bumps on the side here, forming. Now for the next round. So round 20, 31 to round 36 is very similar to rounds 3 to 13 in the fact that we do single crochet followed by a decrease instead of an increase. And each round, each single crochet is reduced by one. So for example, row 31. So we're essentially doing this part here, over here, but instead of increasing, we decrease it together. So it's the same instructions, just with decreases. So we're going to do 11 single crochet followed by one decrease. So 11 single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 single crochet followed by a decrease into the next two stitch. And that's going to be the pattern all the way around. 
11 single crochet, decrease, 11 single crochet, decrease all the way around. You'll have 72 stitches at the end. So that's round 31. For round 32, it's 10 single crochet decrease. Round 33, 9 single crochet decrease. 34, 8 single crochet decrease. 35, 7 single crochet decrease. And 36, 6 single crochet decrease. So by row 36, you have 6 single crochet decrease. 6 single crochet decrease. And you're going to have 42 stitches. So keep doing that. I'll have the pattern on the screen. And I will meet you at the end of round 36. So here we are at the end of round 36. We have 42 stitches all the way around. The reason we're pausing here is because if you have safety eyes, now is the time to place them in. So you want to place your safety eyes between rounds 26 and 27. So I marked it here. And 18 stitches apart. Okay. These are the cheeks. So you don't want to place them on the cheeks. You want to place them in front of the cheeks. 18 stitches apart. So here and somewhere around here. Okay. If you do not have safety eyes, then you will just continue the pattern and we'll deal with the eyes later. But I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so for round 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, we are going to continue working in the same pattern. So minus one single crochet each row. So for round 37, we have five single crochet, one decrease, five single crochet, one decrease. 38, four single crochet, one decrease. 39, three single crochet decrease. 40, two single crochet decrease, and 41, one single crochet, one decrease all the way around. By the end of round 41, you're going to have 12 stitches. So I'm going to meet you at the end of round 41 where you have 12 stitches remaining. So well, here I am at the end of round 39. I have 24 stitches all the way around. I'm going to stuff it now, and then we're just going to continue the pattern until we have 12 stitches all the way around. So round 42, single crochet decrease, and 41, one single crochet decrease. Stuff it, do round 40, 41, and I'll meet you at the end of round 41. So here we are at the end of round 41. I have 12 stitches all the way around. I'm just going to finish stuffing this head. So whatever extra stuffing you need to apply, apply it now before we close it off. So once you're done stuffing for round 42, we're just going to do one decrease into each stitch all the way around. And by the end of this, you're going to have six stitches all the way around. And then we're just going to take our tapestry needle and sew that closed. So I'm going to finish this and I will meet you at the end of round 42. So now that we have six stitches here, we're just going to cut our yarn, leave a tail, pull it through, and we're going to sew it. So take your tapestry needle and apply it to the tail here. Take out your stitch marker, you don't need that any longer. The way we're going to sew it closed is each of the six stitches we are going to go into the front loop only, so the one that's facing you, the front loop, in, out, in, out, bottom up into the first loop, into the second one, top down, into the third one, bottom up, fourth one, top down, fifth one, bottom up. And the sixth one, don't forget the last one here, top down, and then you're just going to pull, and you can see that it closes shut. Then we're just going to sew the tail in, stick it in, stick it out someplace else, and there you go. Do that one more time. Okay. There you go. Now we're just going to cut it, stuff it in, and we're done with the head. Now to move on to the next body part. Okay, so here is our head.